with members of the Hagerstown Flying Boxcars, Tom Burtman and Maggie, Maggie Piazza. How are you guys today? Doing good. Thanks yeah. for having yeah, us. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, appreciate them coming in this morning. Our show brought to you by Brown Funeral Home and Cremations, Robert Fields and Sons, family-owned full-service funeral home that's proudly served our area since 1880, as you guys, both a part of the front office staff, have a lot of things going on, as baseball officially back in Hagerstown. Just, I guess, we'll start off with uh, that process first off and what it's been like for both of you to be a part of a new baseball team coming to the area and I'll start with you Tom and then go to Maggie. Well for me you know being in baseball before and then losing that affiliation and also Tom if you can just kind of move that mic yeah. a little bit closer to you don't worry Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is that better? Yeah. Um, yeah, just, you know, in my background in minor league baseball, uh, when uh, working with the other Hagerstown Suns team, when it went away, you know, I never thought I'd get another chance in, in baseball. I never thought that Hagerstown would get another chance. And four years later, here comes a brand new stadium, a brand new team. So it's been exciting and nonstop since day one. I got hired in June. And, I mean, it's been pretty much uh, all in since then. And now we're two months away from the start of the season so st stress is there the um, lack of sleep is there but the excitement has not stopped and we're super excited about it yeah it's definitely very exciting times especially for me having the opportunity to start a team from the ground up pretty straight out of college is super exciting and i had some background in college with baseball teams so to be able to do it in my hometown something really special and you guys have an event tonight i believe it is in martinsburg so just kind of explain uh, what you guys are doing down here. Yeah, so Amani Brewing was gracious enough to host us tonight for our promotion event. We'll be there from 4.30 to 7.30 tonight, and we're just going to be doing some raffles, some freebies. We'll have a table set up for some information and just be there to showcase that we're back in town and baseball's back. And the whole thing with um, with our team and, and why we're trying to make sure that the folks here in West Virginia and Maryland and Pennsylvania, know, although our title of our team is the Hagerstown Flying Boxcars, this is a team that belongs to everybody here in the area, all up and down that 81 corridor. So, you know, knowing the uh, the last Hagerstown baseball team and, and the fans that we got from the, the Martinsburg area and all over the uh, this West Virginia area, we want to make sure that they are included in what we're doing. So this is a very important event for us tonight to be able to bring our brand to to Martinsburg. As you heard uh, there at Amani Brewing, uh, 654 Rope Drive in Martinsburg tonight. Breweries open from 2 to 9. As you heard, they'll be there from 430 to 730 with live music beginning at 530 night. You guys also in Martinsburg have a job fair coming up to, uh, I believe, a week or so away. Yeah, so we're having a job fair at Spring Mills High School on March 3rd from 2 to 5. So that's really just going to be for our game day staff. You know, we're looking for ushers, people to run concession stands, on-field promotion. So if anyone is interested in being a part of the team, please come out and be prepared to be interviewed and hire, well, interviewed and talked to. And yeah, it'll be a good time. Yeah, and, and the, again, uh, this team is its not a small operation, Colin. I mean, Nick, it's, it's a huge operation. There's going to be a lot of employees that we're going to need for a, for a game day. Uh, Colin, you, you and I have some history in, in minor league baseball, and you know it didn't take a whole lot to run that team. This team's going to have an excess of about 125 to 150 game day employees at any one time. So we're expecting you know crowds in excess of three to four thousand people and with that many people we got to have people on staff that's that's staff in our kitchens that's staff on our uh, ushers as far as ticket takers a couple of team stores we have so yeah we're looking for good people that uh, that that want to have some fun with us and 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 know that it's a job as well so yeah um, Maggie's heading up both of our uh, job fairs I think we have another job fair coming up as well so um, but that one there in um, at Spring Mills is, is hopefully going to attract those folks here in West Virginia that want to cross the state line and enjoy some baseball and, and work for the Hagerstown Flying Boxcars. The Boxcars are going to be competing in the Atlantic League. 
which I grew up in New York, so I'm familiar with the revolution. Um, just talk about, I guess, some of the differences between maybe the Atlantic League and what people can expect compared to Hagerstown Suns baseball, if they're used to that. Well, if they're used to the Hagerstown Suns baseball, especially in the past few years and the last few years of the team, um, you know, I always tell people that at that point we were dealing with 18, 19 year old kids fresh out of high school, college, who, who were great athletes, great baseball players, obviously, because they'd been drafted by the Washington Nationals. But the truth of it is, is they didn't really know how to play the game professionally. The guys that we have in this league have played the game professionally. They have major league experience, the majority of them, um, most of them at least AAA experience. So these guys have been around and their opportunity to get back to baseball is through the Atlantic League. A lot of people talk about how the the Hagerstown Suns were affiliated with the Washington Nationals. We're not affiliated with just one team in the Atlantic League. We're affiliated with pretty much all 30 teams because any team in the major leagues now can look at our players and say, hey, your third baseman, we want them. And that can be the Seattle Mariners or, or the Toronto Blue Jays. Any team in Major League Baseball can look at one of our players and pull them up to their their uh, their team, which is really an opportunity for these guys to get back at the big league level. So you're, the, 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 mo- the, major, the major difference is going to be the level of play. Um, and the talent's already going to be there. You're going to have, like I said, the guys with the names that have been. And if you go to our website or our social media pages, you'll be able to see some of the players that we've signed recently, and you'll be able to see their experience level. In fact, we just signed a former Hagerstown son, Yuri Perez, who played with the uh, the Suns in 2010, was the stolen base leader in the South Atlantic League uh, that particular year, went on to play for a number of teams, including the Nationals, is trying to get back to the bigs. So that, that's that's what they'll see, a big difference in level of play. Yeah, and you can see uh, on Facebook, your other social medias, as well as your website, some teams that uh, or some players that have signed for the team. And I also know that you guys are also looking for places that uh, might be able to open up their homes to players as well, kind of like what the Suns used to have and a lot of minor league teams do as well. I know maybe you weren't expecting that kind of question today, but if no. either of you have an answer as to how somebody might be able to sign up and help out. Yeah, you know, as a matter of fact, that's a great question. Yeah, we are looking for host families. Um, these players, you know, again, they've had major league experience, they've had minor league experience, but as anybody knows, it's hard to find an apartment for four or five months. It's hard to lease that month-to-month basis. So uh, we try to find them host families just like we did with, in the minor league system with the Hagerstown Sons, and I'm proud to say that I'm also a former host family. Um, I've had players like Coda Glover uh, with the Washington Nationals. Victor Robles lived with me. Um, your opportunity to host these players, get to know them a little bit. They're there about half the time, uh, meaning they're out of town the other half. Um, they spend a lot of time at the stadium, but they do need a place to sleep at night. Um, it's re- it doesn't take a whole lot to host. Uh, you can reach out to me directly at uh, T. Bertman at uh, FlyingBoxCars.com. I'm sure we can share that somewhere. But um, but yeah, we're we're always looking for host families. It's it's an awesome an awesome program that we have. Uh, again, the, these guys just want to want to feel to be a part of the community. This is an opportunity there to be a part of the community. And trust me, they all pretty much have vehicles, so the Martinsburg area would not be too far for them to drive to uh, to Hagerstown. And I believe as well, season tickets are on sale. Um, and what are some of the benefits of being a season ticket holder? You get to see 63 games of the best baseball that this area has ever seen um, as far as in the minor league level. You get to uh, experience the, the number one stadium currently being built in America. There's no other stadium with the level of um, amenities that this stadium has. Uh, it, it's it's amazing what the Maryland Stadium Authority and Turner Construction has done with this stadium. Um, there's there's I think is anybody that's been to Municipal Stadium in the past and unfortunately R.I.P. Rest in peace to Municipal Stadium. It's now gone. They're going to be shocked. They're going to be wowed at what they're going to see and they're going to want to continue to come back. Um, the main advantage of being a season ticket holder, you get to pick your own seat and we'll be having those seats. 
election day is coming up in the next what week to 10 days i believe yeah march 2nd yeah so you if you get a season ticket plan you come in you pick your own seat that is your seat for all 63 games of the year which is nice um a little different style than with what we had before with the hagerstown suns uh tickets are now done digitally for the most part we still print tickets but they're done digitally so hey you can't go to a game this thursday you can email or text your friend your ticket and they can show up and they'll be there that Thursday. So, yeah, the advantage of being in that stadium 63 times a year guaranteed is pretty cool. All right, before we let you guys go, I'll let you uh, plug one more time the event tonight, the job fair on March 3rd, and then when uh, opening day is. May 3rd. It's yeah. coming up. May 3rd, definitely. And uh, and tonight, tonight's event starts at 4.30, correct? Yep, 4.30. And we'll be we'll be there till seven thirty, and probably a little later for some of us. Uh, we'll want to stick around and hang out with folks. But come out, we got a few giveaways. We're gonna have some raffles and things of that nature. So come out, and join us. Obviously, the job fair. Uh, you know, come out, and meet us. If you have questions beforehand, you can always reach out to us as well. But uh, looking forward to uh, bringing baseball back not only to Hagerstown but to this entire area, and that includes Martinsburg and West Virginia. We're excited to have those folks back in the Hub City. All right, Tom and Maggie, appreciate the time again. Tonight's event at Amani Brewing and then the job fair March 3rd at Spring Mills High School.